What's up guys? Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Morrison and this is actually going to be my first video. I know you guys have been asking for a long while now. So today what I have for you, I'm going to prepare a garlic mashed potato alongside with a piece of pork chop. Um, if you like this video or this type of video, continue watching. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified each time I drop a video. And yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Here I have the piece of pork chop. What to do with the pork chop. All right, so today I'm going to um, barbecue, do a barbecue pork chop, my barbecue sauce. But first I'm going to season it with some Jamaican blend. So yeah. So what type of seasoning I have here now? Okay, so here I have some salt, some herbs, some mixed seasoning, Maggie, Maggie season and some other season and some jerk seasoning and some garlic powder. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a little salt. Then I'm going to add some mixed seasoning. A little herb, complete seasoning. Some garlic powder. some jerk seasoning so what i'm what i'm doing i'm just rubbing on um this all my season onto the pork chop ensuring that everywhere is um get a little seasoning and all of that Okay, so here is the pork chop. I'm just going to pan sear it on low flame so that the outside has a little crust on it. Then I'm going to finish it off into the oven at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so here I have my potatoes and I'm just washing my potatoes, ensuring that they're very clean. I'm going to um, cut my potatoes in small cubes. Okay, so I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut in small cubes. So I'm just going to cut one potato in four. Then I'm just going to cut across small cubes. I'm going to bam. Okay, so I'm just going to add my pork chop. So first what I did, um, I had some olive oil to, to the pot. So I'm cooking my pork with some olive oil. And I'm just going to allow, allow each side to get a bit brown. And I'm going to finish it off into the oven. Okay, so I'm just going to add my potatoes to my warm water, boiling water and allow it to boil until tender enough to bite. Okay, so I've greased my baking pan and I'm going to add this to the oven for it to bake for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to do my first chicken in 30 minutes time. Okay, so now my pot is heated and I'm just going to add a piece of butter. And then as soon as the butter um, has melted. I'm going to add some chopped garlics. going to move it around like this. Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to mash my potatoes. If you have a potato masher, you could use that. But right now I'm using a wooden spoon. Okay. So my, now my potato is fully mashed and I'm just going to add it. 
some prefer to add the heavy cream before they add the potato but I'm just going to now add the potato um, in it and allow the the flavor of the garlic and the butter to just infuse and the potato to get the flavor from the butter and the garlic and now I'm just going to add some heavy cream okay so now I'm going to test my pork chops I remove it from the oven and I'm just going to check it with an um, a fork just to see okay so the fork um, went through that means the pork is cooked so now what I'm going to do okay. I'm going to, so now I'm going to I'm going to coat okay, so now I'm coat. going to coat my pork chop with some barbecue ketchup and some hot sauce and I'm just going to mix it all together combine all of, all my ingredients and just rub it on onto the pork so I'm just going to rub it all over ensure that all my pork is covered in the sauce you're not going to use too much sauce you're just going to keep it light and then i'm just going to add it back to the oven for a neck for about another five minutes because it is already cooked i'm going to add it to the oven for the next five minutes just to let the um, the sauce get into the inside of the pork and yes yeah. so I'm just doing a plating for you guys because you know normally people choose to heat with their eyes and when something looks appealing it draws the attention of persons but now I'm just doing a simple plating with the potatoes Not going to add enough potatoes to the plate. Okay, done. Okay, so I'm just going to lead my pork chop to the How side. And then oh, I'm going to drizzle some of my sauce onto it. I'm just going to do the finished touch and I'm also going to sprinkle some dry herbs some dry herbs over it some dry parsley and yes here I have my homemade garlic mashed potatoes with my barbecue pork chop Okay guys, so you have made it to the end of the video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you can get notified when I drop another video. Please share it to a friend, an auntie, an uncle, a nephew, a niece. Tell them to come over. We have nice things going coming up. Um, delicious meals and all of that. Yes. So thanks for watching guys and see you guys in the next video. Bye.